What Mewtwo is if he gets three stocks here as Rob. And I don't, I mean, I, don't, I know T's good, but I don't know if he's just <laughs> three stock body, you know. T, of course, this is his first tournament in a while. Uh, his first, well, Switch Fest would be his first tournament in a while. He has gone to a few locals. What do you make of the stage choice in PS2? I literally think they just said, let's go PS2. I, can't, I, I don't think there was any, like, strategic choice behind this. It is the gentleman's fest. Yeah. After all. I think Wadi sat down and said PS2, and then he's like, sure, let's Excellent. play. Excellent arm rotor from Wadi, almost killing about 10, 15 more percent. That might have spelled the end of T's first off. Yeah, that uh, side kills ridiculously early. It does, and it's just received end lag buffs from Smash 4. It's so safe to go for. Now, I want to see, uh, yeah, I, I was wondering how does Rob get rid of the Hydrant, and it doesn't look that hard to deal with, actually, so that's going to be pretty difficult for T. The downstock comes in from Wadi. Yeah, as you said, a fully charged laser will get rid of it, but a partially charged one won't, so he has to be always aware of what he has in that pocket. Oh, he can reflect it, too. Wow, I forgot about that. I keep forgetting his side B is uh, also a reflector, it's too. It's crazy. I, yeah. I just know from how Breakthrough ended, but... Wait, did Kira get a reflector kill? For... He did. He reflected a snake up smash. To end it out. <laughs> oh, really? That's so stupid. <laughs> it is, but... <laughs> oh, thank you. you expect oh, as the first kill nice. comes in from Wadi with the up air. Only 81% taken, already off to a hot start. Oh... He's going for the Nair uh, as he drops. It's pretty scary stuff. Yeah, Pac-Man doesn't, doesn't have any trouble using the Hydrant. Or, sorry, the Gyro, too. Like, it's just like one of his own items that he always uses. Right. If there's any character that should be used to item combos at this point, it's Pac-Man. Yeah. Chasing oh, my him God. deep off stage with the Dare, though, and uses that side special to recover T before Dang. things get too ugly. Already back in this. Yeah, I... I didn't realize Pac-Man can go so deep off stage to edge guard. He really can. He just has two different edge guarding tools. He can use them in, you know, in order that suits him. Nice tech chase. Oh, he missed his combo though. Gets him with that ending hit of the Nair. And now Wadi has stage control, but only a small percent lead. That's already gone. Man, you really don't want to give T the gyro. He's been getting so much damage. You really don't. Uh, of course, that's not only something T's going to be using. That's just taking it out of Wadi's hands as well. So he can't get any of his own combos started. Oh, I, that laser is so close to me. Look, you got the gyro again. But oh, the side B. Yeah, the yeah. I think he didn't even really mean to hit him there. He just wanted to reflect the gyro back. But he also just jumped straight into it, so it ended up working out. In either case, Wadi enjoying a bit of a percent lead and a stock lead. Tech chases with the F smash though. T, all of a sudden, we saw it right in first stock and we saw it right there again. Oh. Not going to fall too far out of us. The arm rotor, oh not my quite. God. Dude, he's, oh, he's going for it again. Oh my God, it's so crazy. Man, that's so scary that Rob can just side B you so deep in the blast zone. Yeah, these are two characters who are no stranger to playing off stage and. You know, these are two players who are no strong stranger to just utilizing that to its full extent. Yeah, and this still is a uh, best two out of three range, too, so every game matters right now. It's so close. Oh, he's got the bell. What's he going to do with this? I know he's just going aggressive right now. Oh, no, it's at the ledge. He has one more chance to do it. Nice. Nice stuff from Wadi to avoid that. Yeah, excellent patience just in and around the ledge from Wadi. Not trying to return too early. Almost connected with the Hydra. Yeah, it's really scary. Oh, he couldn't get. Oh, no, he's still living. He Dang, Pac Man's heavy. Pac Man just. Oh, finished. my goodness. The arm rotor comes in. No. What the heck? Why is he alive? He's living. <laughs> I don't okay, think it's okay, still okay, that, that, that one should kill. <laughs> he, had to, he had to zoom in three times. He did. We just saw, know. you know, more sparks than the 4th of July there. But Yeah, that was crazy. Nice snipe from Wadi to close that one out. Excellent work. Wadi. He almost lost that. Yeah. He had such a lead, you know, almost through all the game, and T kept clawing his way back through just ma manipulation of these items and careful hydrant placements. Yes. But yeah, Wadi seems to know the matchup pretty well, too, so it's he not does. easy. Um, I believe he's played with Sinji a couple times, so should have at least a fundamental understanding of how to face the character. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, going against, like, the best Pac-Man like right now in general, to do well this well is pretty, says a lot how good Wadi is. 
Yeah. Meanwhile, we're going to be going to final destination for game two, and all of a sudden, it's T who's going to be on the offensive early. Yeah, uh, Pac-Man's forward air, or aerials in general, they're just really good for combos at low percent. They oh, my goodness. Yeah, they really are. T, and especially Pac-Man in general, receives such great buffs to his up-close play. You know, uh, in Smash 4, he was one to always play from a distance and only approach when he had to, but now he can, you know, Ooh. he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anyone. Yeah, he can actually fight you up close really well. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened to Vladi there, but I think T he just ran out of fuel. Pretty much destroying him that entire first stock. Barely even got touched. And uh, Rob just being so big, it's just not hard for Pac-Man to get these hits off. Although just using the Hydrant to push T straight into the grab. Excellent awareness on Wadi's part. Oh, he didn't get the full hit of the up air. Okay, nice. I like that he's using the laser to intercept the, the Hydrant every time. Especially can't do much work when it's in the air, but the tilt from Wadi in the very. Oh, that was so good, wow. Yeah, read the air dodge with the up smash, and now Wadi only 34% taken after losing his first stock, yeah, he, dealing only 8%. Yeah, yeah, he didn't do that much percent on his first stock at all, so that's actually a huge comeback for Wadi to bring it so close without taking so much percent. It is. Gets rid of the Hydrant, though, and all of a sudden, Wadi has stage control for one of the first times this set. Oh, and my And the goodness. arm rotor, that won't kill, though. Yeah, but he's bringing this all the way back. Now he has the lead, and still this is best two out of three, so Wadi... Being able to get this one 2-0 would say a lot. He's already, I think he already 2-0'd Umeki in uh, the other side of losers. So yeah, Wadi lost in pools, I believe, to... He lost to True 4? He did. Yeah, the uh, Shulk player. Yeah, everyone's got to watch out for the... Not only, like, the plethora of, like, crazy Japanese players, but, like, all the Shulk and Pokemon trainer players. I believe T also lost in pools to Enzo. So these are two yeah. people who are... Just they, having to make long losers runs. Yeah, they both lost to the Switch Fest mascot characters. Yeah, yeah. Enzo, Pokemon Trainer. Back door from the TV. Saw the red sparks, but not oh. the kill. No, he can't get the snipe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How does he get around everything? <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Only down high. air? Oh, no, we're living. Well, I'm surprised he went for the melon choice. But why is going high? Yeah, look at Rob's chassis. He's just low on fuel at the moment. Had to find some way to make it back. He's really close to getting his kill on T, though. What's he going to do with the gyro at the ledge? Oh, he can't get back. Oh, I thought he was going to hit him out of that side B, but he's a little bit too slow. He could have. Meanwhile, T has to be so careful. Dash attacks around the gyro. Oh, bad trade. We're barely living. Oh, gets the snipe, though. Is he going to get another gyro? Oh. Oh, he gets him with the down wow. arrow. Wadi. That timing was so good. Such great work. Just waited out. He oh. opted to go on the first hit of the trampoline, and he's made to pay for it. And then T immediately got the stock again. No one can hold a lead for too long in this in this set. But this is potentially T's last game of the tournament. Wadi trying his best to get this one 2-0. And T's trying to bring it back. He's doing a really good job so far. He's got to watch it, though. But, man, Wadi's zoning right now is so good. He's it's just hitting him out of all of his setups. Yeah. T, that is. He really is, and he's making, oh, gets the footstool, but Ooh. not the down air. Oh, my God, off. that Galaga setup, it's so much percent. It really does. You know, it. you think, oh, it's just this one item. It does 8%. It won't do anything, and you just get three or four aerials off of it all of a sudden, 30 40%. Yeah, that's what he needed, too, to get a, the lead right now. Pac-Man with the percent lead like this is much scarier. Oh, gets caught within the bell. Yeah, you can't get a kill off of it, but it's another uh, good way to rack up damage. Just adding on to his lead right here and keep pressuring Wadi. Oh, wow, the bell actually hits the gyro back. I didn't realize that. Uh-oh, this is bad for T now. Ooh, he's got to watch it. Nice, gets the gyro snob, snipe. He's keeping him at the ledge where he wants him. Oh, nice. Read the roll off stage nice. with the up smash. Wadi will 2-0 T. 2-0. So he put the gyro there to condition him to try to roll past it, and immediately when he rolled, covered it.